Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you for joining as ever, it is Tuesday, transfers are flying about all over the place, rumours are going through the roof and uh, we're here to talk about them um, as usual. Now yesterday we touched on Alex Mowat, he is still a Reds player, he's still here, which is good, we'll count down the days in January uh, until um, hopefully you know the end and he's still here and hopefully he's re-signed. Um, and uh, then we can start maybe thinking maybe 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 we are turning a corner in terms of January transfers. Um, so in this video, uh, well, you can tell from the title, we are talking about Callum uh, Styles. Uh, Rumours are coming out that Brentford are a side looking to um, to get to get Callum. Um, you know, another one of our best players this season, been playing brilliantly at left back which isn't his natural position neither. You know, it's, it comes as no surprise that there is other sides, you know, who are gunning to get promotion, uh, looking at uh, trying to get his signature. Um, obviously, our league position says, well, why why can't we But I, gun for promotion? But I still think we are just not there yet in terms of quality, in terms of numbers. And I think maybe next season, if we keep the core of the squad together, if we are actually serious about maybe going that extra step, then there's no reason why not. But I think this season, certainly, I don't think we are good enough to get there. We've lost to every side in the top six. So, and, and when, listen, we've not lost, you know, by being hammered, by probably you could look at the Bournemouth game, but they didn't hammer us. The scoreline suggests they did, but they didn't really. It, it were our own doing a lot of that game. Um, but Callum Styles, you know, 20 years of age, been a key figure this, this season at 20 years of age, playing out of position and absolutely making it his own. Comes as and it comes as no surprise that sides are looking at him and they are going to have to pay a huge amount of money for him. And the one thing that you know is triggered in the back of my head is whether or not it would be too much for the club to turn down. You know, because you look at age, you put age and his contract because he renewed his contract last year um, until 2023, which was a good good uh, business by the club. Um, and his age, obviously, like I said, they're going to pump up that, that contract. And we've all said it here. We've sat here as Barnes of fans and we've said, you know, he's going to be a star. He's going to be, you know, he's going to be go on and do great things in the future. Uh, I think it is inevitable. Um, but I, I personally wouldn't think it would be this transfer window. I think it is a little bit too early for Styles. I think he's in great form at the minute. He's, you know, he, he scores goals, he's creative. I just think that the move might be that little bit too early for him. Um, and, you know, we've all said, you know, that when money gets offered for players, if it's too much for the club to turn down, you know, then it can be understandable. And, and the money that I expect for Styles, I would have no problem with the club accepting it if you get where I'm coming from. Uh, because I do think it would be a huge, a huge amount of money, um, but I just think it might be a little bit too early for him. Uh, and and listen, at this moment in time, we need to keep hold of us players. You know, we can't really be selling to a rival as well in Brentford. Uh, and I think you know he'll he'll not get a run of games. I don't think as much as he will here. You know, he's a, he's one of the first names on the team sheet. It makes sense. Uh, for a career as well as the football, as Barnsley itself, for his career and the football club itself, for him to hang on a bit and see where it takes him. It's a different thing with Mowat because Mowat's out of contract in the summer and the offer for Mowat, obviously, what rumoured, whether it be true or not, only 1.2 million, you know, that's a pretty scandalous fee, really. Um, and, you know, I, I would expect the club to fight tooth and nail, actually, for that rather than letting him go for that price. I'd rather him not go for that price at all. Um, but with Styles, bigger contract, such a young age, you know, he's, what, t six years younger than Mowat, and it doesn't seem a lot, but it really is in terms of football. And, you know, every time Styles has played this year, he's been <laughs> class, really. And it odd game, he might get bowled away a few times, but who don't? And... Yeah, he's, he's got a bright future. We've sat here, you know, you guys have said in the comments, we've all said it, he's got a bright future ahead of him, that lad. And this is where we've got to now decide whether we're 
and, and we said it, and I said it in the end of yesterday's video, where I said, let's not be that Barnsley anymore. We've got to be like that team that aspires to be not just, you know, floating about the leagues, staying up, you know, just de and not just developing young talent. Because we have, you know, um, we have brought, you know, we brought him in. And I'm sure there might have been other players looking at him, but we saw a player in him. We gave him that opportunity to be where he is now. And then obviously he's going to go up and, and do better things. Maybe we can go that step in terms of being the 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 Brentford, you know, because if you look at them, you know that are they they any bigger than us in terms of a club? But what I'm saying is using them as an example. If you do the business the right way, you attract the players, you keep the squad together, you can do exactly the same as what they're trying to do to us um, for for other players. Um, and maybe he thinks, well, it might be worth better if I stay would stay at this site. This team's going places. The whole club is going places. Um, but obviously, if there's other much bigger teams come in, you know, Premier League, etc., it is going to be hard. It is going to be very hard. But we obviously wait and see. I hope I hope that we can get through this window without losing, you know, any more. Obviously, Mowat is still the big talking point. Um, there's nothing really come out, actually, in terms of prices. It just says they're uh, targeting him. Um, and I expect it. I, I do expect um, Callum Styles to still be here come the end of the window. I really, really do. But I do think, you know, we will find it hard to keep him here. And I think the price eventually will be just that bit too much for the club to turn down personally. If uh, if we're being honest, so anyway, guys, get your comments in. Uh, thank you for again for watching another transfers and rumors video. Uh, hopefully, you know tomorrow or something. We're talking about incomings rather than play, uh, clubs looking at our players. You know that seems to have gone quiet a little bit. But again, you know I said yesterday um, I would I'd rather just see Mowat sign now and that and that and that would do. But obviously we'll wait and see for that. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. All the best to you. Enjoy the rest of the evening and I'll see you tomorrow. You Reds.